Oh, there's already counting down. You lied. Wait till you put the live button. Yeah. I think that's what it is, but there you are. Just getting it together. Uh, to God be the glory. Praise the Lord, everybody, for a, another wonderful midweek empowerment service that the Lord has allowed us to come before you all on today and to come into your home, come into your living room, come into your dining room. Uh, come, just come into your workplace, uh, wherever you might be at, even if you're in the car pulling the side of the road and, you know, let's, let's have Bible study. Amen. <laughs> so we just bless God for that. Amen. So we, Amen. and we thank God for his grace and his mercy on today to God be the glory. Hallelujah is the highest praise. And we thank God for it. Um, mm -hmm. wherever you might be, we pray that you are experiencing a move of God like never before and as we break forth the bread of life and, you know, truly God has truly been good with us, uh, good to all of us. And good evening to everyone that's coming on, that's logging on, that has prepared themselves to um, be with us as far as the next hour of power. Good evening, Miss Deborah. God bless you. Hello there. We thank God for his grace and his mercy on today. And we give God all the praise and all the glory, and you just, you know, when you think about God, you just got to continue to just magnify him, give him praise, give him glory, because, um, as the son said, when I think about the goodness and all that he has done for me, my soul cried out, what, hallelujah, and hallelujah, not was, but it is the highest praise, so we bless God for that on today, amen? Not and, only that, he's worthy of the praises. And he's worthy of the praises. He's so worthy of all of our praises and glory and honor because he is he's good he's great, better than good to us he's be, he's better to us than we are to ourselves always mm -hmm. always amen you know and um let the truth be told if um and that's where we're gonna go at again tonight not again tonight but we're gonna continue to hit on that um talking about grace and um you know, in this season, how many of you know, um, a lot of times people say, I need favor. I need faith. I need favor. But I'm telling you, um, you know, it's all because of God's grace that kept us and going to continue to keep us through the things that we're experiencing and the things that we're going through. So we just bless God for, for that on today. Amen. 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 So we, we thank God for all that is going on and um wow like i said i'm just in awe knowing that it's september and uh before you know it it'll be christmas mm -hmm. <laughs> labor day we got the holiday coming up so but we just bless god for that you know a lot of time people would be gathering together and cooking out and barbecuing and doing different things but you know what we just we thank god on tonight that um for his grace and his mercy and we thank him that he brought us throughout the week and we continue to pray for those um that those that are in mourning those that um a loved one going on to be with the lord and um those that are in the hospital those that are sick we continue to pray for all and everybody um so we we just thank god for that amen so we just bless god for his grace amen mm. oh yeah yeah, and and it, it was some something was on my mind when you were talking, but um, I have to try to remember what it was. <laughs> but oh, uh, it'll come back. Yeah, he's just so. Yeah. Oh, I know what I was gonna say that, you know, yeah, the holiday. What is this? Labor Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. We're approaching Labor Day, so, you know, again, I know people we're, we're families we're used to gathering with our families and having our cookouts and having our gatherings but please um try to remain as safe as possible and you know still we're, we're still gonna have to practice you know the social distancing mm -hmm. and practice you know wearing wearing the mask you know if you're close together you know and and I think we're still going to have to avoid, you know, large crowds. Because I noticed, um, which was so different, I went to the grocery store this morning, and I noticed that the the 
the tapes are not on the aisles anymore. Oh, okay. To tell you know to tell you to go in one direction so that we could shop in one direction. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I saw that today, and I'm it threw me off because wow. I was looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for the markings on the floor to tell me which aisle to go. You know, up or down. Or, up or down. Yeah, and it threw me off because I we. I don't know about anyone else, but I was starting to get used. I was already used to mm. the the things that they're practicing because of COVID-19. Yes. So I was beginning to, you know, we're practicing that. And, and now, you know, they're starting to lift some of these regulations. But, um, you know, I, I just pray that it's a, that again, that they're not moving too soon. Because the, the numbers we see, the numbers are some days is lower, some days is higher for the, yeah. the um, positive testing for it. So um, I think we still need to be as careful as possible and, and practice those guidelines, regardless of what um, the CDC, whatever their regulations are, we need to do what's best for us in our household. Amen. Um, you know, um, you know, even when you said that, um, and we're going to move on in a moment, but, you know, even when we said that, um, we just want to say good evening to everyone. Good evening, Miss Elisa, Miss Deborah, and um, you know we just good evening, um, Anna. God bless you, sis. God bless all of you on today for joining us. And um, you know when you when you think about it, um, you know uh, with all what's going on in the world, and then we have um, not only just election coming up, but like you said, we still have to use common sense and be careful um, no matter where we at whether we're on the job it doesn't matter where we at but we still got to continue to trust the Lord because the thing about it is that um there's so much that goes on in somebody's mind um, it's like the intense level even when you go out the house or when you go to the grocery store when you go it's just like you know um Everybody looking at one another, you know, like, you know, if, and especially if somebody cough, <laughs> somebody cough, we're going to look around and say, oh, you know, and just, it's, it's tense stuff. It's, it's very, very tense. It's very tense. And, and the thing about it is that I know we got to be careful, um, but the thing about it is that here it is. This is where we go. we're going to continue to trust God at his word. And um, yes, he wants to use common sense. And I understand that, but in the meanwhile, uh, we still got to trust God in and at his word. So we bless God for each and every one of you on tonight. We give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. Amen. So we we, we thank God for that. Amen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's my fault. God bless you. I didn't say a word. <laughs> Where's yours? All right, we're going to go ahead and um, hit start. Let me make sure it's going to vibrate. It, I think it is. <laughs> I got the volume down. Amen. So turn with us on tonight. Um, as, as the Lord will allow us to. Um, I want to read two verses of scripture. Um, New Testament scripture reading. Um, and um, according to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9. And then we're going to continue to go and move on because... With all this was going on in to not only just the world, but the thing is, this is where we got to continue to be strong and continue to be strong in the Lord and be strong in his word. Amen. So we, we thank God for the word of God and we thank God for the people of God. And we pray that um, through the teaching of God's word and the Holy Spirit, that this word will not only just enrich, not only it will enlighten, but we pray that it will bring some kind of clarity uh, as far as things that's not only going on, but, you know, and that's what the word does. It, it The word shines always on darkness. Amen. The word is light. Amen. Oh, you're sick because the word is light. Yes. <laughs> Amen. The word is light. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8 and 9. It said, for by grace are ye saved through faith, through faith, for by grace, it said, for by grace 
ye are saved through faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. God is the gift of God. And it said, not of work, lest any man should boast. Not of work, unless any man should boast. I want to talk, um, as we continue, this will be part two. Um, last week, you know, we, we touched base with truth and base, uh, I'm sorry, truth embrace grace. Truth embrace grace. But the subtitle would be Truth Matters. Truth matters. Truth embrace grace. But even when you look at truth, it 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 it, it has to have something to anchor and to hold on. And when you think about it, grace is right there. Because here it is. It tells us right here in Ephesians, it said, For by grace ye are saved through faith, but it's by grace. It's by grace. So truth, embrace grace, subtitle, truth matters. How many of you know truth Truth matters all the time, not sometime, amen? It, it matters all the time. You know, we always tell our young kids, we always tell our, um, not just young kids, our grand, and, you know, like we always tell them, you know, just what? Just tell the truth. You know, it's, it's you know, um, and I'm, I'm not, well, I'm going to put owls on the spot. You know, our, our grandkid. Like, think about um, Peyton, one of our grandkids, okay? And, and and we love all of them, amen? But I'm just saying, we always tell her that you would always tell her, you know, when, when, when your mom asks you something, what do you tell her? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. And, and the thing is, is that in, in a lot of time as kids that small, a lot of time they figure they, they um, the enemy will tell them, don't tell the truth. You're going to get in trouble or you, you're going to get a whipping or, or, or your mom or dad going to be mad at you. But how many of you know, here it is. This is where in the word of God, truth matters all the time and it's best that we should always tell the truth. And the thing about it is that here it is. Lie only goes as far. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it it goes a little while, but then it runs out. My God. Mm. It goes a little while, but it runs out. So here it is on tonight. We're talking about truth matters. Truth embrace grace. So here it is. When you think about truth, truth transforms us from a lie all the time. That's what truth does. It transforms us and when I said it transforms us from a lie all the time, guess what? It transforms us if we want to be transformed. Hmm. Amen? <laughs> and, and the thing about it, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I hate it. It's not like Clark Kent, all of a sudden, he know there's a, a problem downtown or something going on, or in other words, someone, he can sense something is going on, then he goes into the phone booth and turn into Superman. Hmm. But, but no, 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 no. Here it is. I, I'm talking about truth transform us. Here it is from a lie all the time. It is in in another thing. Truth does. Truth brings clarity to a dull situation. Truth brings clarity to a dull situation. Something you wanted to say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it it it, it brings it. Okay. It brings. Let me. Hear. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this right here on the side. Uh, so here it is. When you think about it, is that truth brings clarity to a dull situation. And not only that, number three, truth <laughs> exposes a lie every time. Not sometime, but every time. It uncovers. See, the thing about it, we can, you know, <laughs> my, my parents would always tell me, say, man, you, when you, it, w w the thing about it is that it's best that we should always tell the truth because when somebody begins to start lying, they're going to be lying all the time. <laughs> I, and, 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 and the thing about it, if someone lie their way in it, they're going to guess what? They're going to lie their way out. But I'm telling you, this is where truth brings clarity to a dull situation, something that 
might look dormant, something that might look dull, something that might not even look right. I don't care because that's why Jesus said we are what? The light of the world. Mm -hmm. And it said a light that sits on a hill, it cannot be hid. So here it is. I don't, I don't, I don't need to go there. I don't have to go there. We see what's going on in the world. We know what's going on in the world. And the thing about it is beyond the Republican, it's beyond the Democrat, it's beyond the president, because watch this. God is not in the White House. God sit over the White House. Glory, hallelujah. He sit high. Oh, my God. He sit high and he looks low. So here it is. We can't get so focused on that one area, that one spot, because here it is. Then when we, we begin to tell God, we put God in a box. God see what's going on. He knows what's going on. He sees, he hears, and he knows everything was going on. And that's why the Bible said, Jesus sits on the right hand of the Father, and he make it intercession for you and I. Mm -hmm. So what is what grace does, here it is, when something should hit us, something was supposed to come at us, what it is that, here it is, here it is, um, he, he, he sits on the right hand and, and make an intercession here it is, these things that should have took us out, Jesus, glory. That's what the Holy Spirit does. He intercepts it in glory, hallelujah, and he blocks it from us, amen? He blocks it from us. So here it is, glory, hallelujah. I'm, I'm here to tell you, even when you look at it, thank you, Holy Spirit. As I said, truth transforms us from a lie all the time. If you want to stay in it, that's you. But I'm telling you, not only that, truths bring clarity to any dull situation that you and I, that we're dealing with and that we're going through. Amen? Mm -hmm. And the last one, truth exposes a lie every time. Every time. My dad would always used to tell me, say, you know what? When you're talking to somebody, you just look them straight in the eye. Straight in the eye. Amen? Mm -hmm. Straight in the eye. When they, and they can't look at they're looking all around and no, they're looking left, looking right. No, I'm talking to you. And that's what glory, hallelujah. That's what the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit reveals some things that's not in us, that shouldn't be in us. And the whole, oh, glory, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit pulls it out of us. Glory, hallelujah. My God. Mm. My Lord, my God. Mm. So here it is. Even when you look at truth, embrace grace, subtitle, truth matters. So grace when you think about grace, G-R-A-C-E, grace, my God, grace, grace, hallelujah, grace. Here it is. Grace helps us to get through the day. Don't we need grace to get through the day? <laughs> See, look. Is, is that a trick question? <laughs> I just asked a question. Oh, my God. Don't we need grace to get through the day? It's, in, it's impossible. Wow. It's impossible. I mean... And what's amazing to me is that for those of us, I mean, have you ever been to the, before we be, accept salvation, before we accept salvation for Christ, we thought we were doing it all on our own. Come on. How, Come on now. How dare we? Who were we to think that we were able to keep ourselves from day to day? Wow. There's no way. We, we thought maybe it was our... You know, when we were younger, good behavior. Yeah. No, we thought it was our, our parents. Yes, yes, yes. Our parents, or somebody, or maybe an older older sibling, or someone mm -hmm. looking over us and looking after us. But it was only by the grace of God that He allowed the person, My our God. parents, to be able to do what they do to give us the life that we were able to have. Mm. So there's there's no way that we could have possibly done anything for no. ourselves. Except acknowledge God. That's the best thing that we could have done My was Lord. acknowledge acknowledge Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Acknowledge that it was Him all along. Yes. Taking care of us, watching over us, keeping us safe. It was only Him. Yes, yes. And and you know what? When you say that, and um, I gotta go here. I'm gonna go here just for a moment. And I want to tell you these three things about grace. But I, but I, I thank, thank you, Holy Spirit. I got to go here just for a moment. I want to stay there. But I, I promise you this will bless some of you all. It has blessed me. And I know it will bless each and every one of you all. Um, I want to stay there. But I got to go there. When you said that, the things that we ex not only experienced, 
when I think about mom and dad, I think about dad really, you know, going on to be with the Lord's um, ever since back in 1993. And I was, I was like, hey, it was only the grace of God that kept that man. And not only just only the great, yes, I'm talking about my physical father. Like I said, it was only the grace of God that kept them, that helped them. And the thing about it, back then, they were only making minimum wage, $2.85 or $3.35 an hour. But he made, a, oh, glory, hallelujah. He, he knew how to stretch the dollar, but it was the grace on his life. Mom never worked a day in her life. Well, well, on a nine uh, you to mean five. Out, outside of the outside home. of the home. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about on a nine to five. <laughs> yes, yes, she might have went in the peach field, and God graced right. her too. She worked, graced her to work inside the home. <laughs> yes, with, with thirteen what thirteen children? Thirteen, so, thirteen kids. Yeah, twelve, so, twelve. Yes. So she worked. Yes, <laughs> but but what I'm saying is that when here it is, when you know someone need a pair of shoes, someone need a pair of pants. Dad, he he provided, and and we didn't know where it was coming from. My heart was coming from, but God made a way out of no way. Mm -hmm. If He did it back then, oh glory, hallelujah! Wouldn't He do it now? Do it again, Lord. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to type. Do it again, Lord. Do it again. Do it again. You need to type that in. Oh my God, do it again, Lord. <laughs> do if He did it back then, He'll do it now. Type in. Do it again, Lord. Because the thing about it, thank you, Holy Spirit. See, where we at today, men and women of God, where we at and how we're doing and whether the house, the car, the job and the things, the finance and all this thing, watch this, it's not where you at that's keeping you, it's, where the, it's the things that you experienced back then along the way that's keeping you where you at today. My God, that's what's keeping me. And those are the things, the hard time, you know, the thing about it that here it is, you know, dad went to work. Yes, he went to work. He was only working one job and he wasn't, you know, it came a time, one time when he worked a little weekend job. But what I'm saying is that I knew and I thank God for the grace that was on that man life. Glory, hallelujah. My God. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you know, when you talk about, I told my wife, oh, we wanted to have four, no, this, <laughs> 14 kids, right? See, she look at me. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and that's why I'm saying if God kept us and took us through that, and what I'm saying through that, and I know there's families on here that experience even the more than what we experience, but glory, hallelujah. If God did it for us, he can do it for you, too. That's why I thank God. Do it again, God. And that's why God will do it over and over and over and over again. My God. And that's why I'm, I'm thankful. Yes, 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 yes. And we're, we're, we're blessed to be a blessing. And we thank God for that. Back to what I was saying. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So here it is. Grace, help us to get through the day. Grace, put fuel into your tank when you are on empty. Grace, put fuel into your tank when you are on empty. And not only that, grace shields and also protect us. Amen. That's what grace does. That's what I'm telling you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, grace. My God. I'm not going to say no. I need you to go, <laughs> go with us. Go with us, though. Can you read John 8, John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32? My God, it's grace, it's grace. God riches at Christ's expense. God riches at Christ's expense. Meaning that Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. Mm -hmm. When he was on the cross, he said, Father, <laughs> forgive them for they know not what they do. He's, it is finished, meaning that it is finished. So here it is. Even the things that we go through, the things that we experience, glory, hallelujah, we're going, we're going to get by, glory, hallelujah, we're going to get through, glory, hallelujah, just keep moving, keep going, and keep trusting and believing, and hold on to God, as the old people will say, hold on to God, unchanging hand, glory, hallelujah, you got to hold on, and don't let go, my God. You mean our seasoned saints? 
Yes. Season of Saints. You said the old people. Yes, yes. <laughs> Season Saints. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you. All right. So, um, John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. Yeah, 31 and 32 in the King James Version. It reads, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall <laughs> do what? Make you free. See, the thing about it is not about setting you free. The truth shall make you and I free each and every time. My God, my God. And that's what truth does. It, it, it transforms us. And the thing about it is, and here it is, um, Oh, glory, hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So here it is, even as you, when you was reading that, John, here it is, it said the truth shall not set, but make us free. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is that here it is, you know, um, God can keep each and every one of us if we want to be kept. He can keep you. He's a keeper. <laughs> he, he, he keeps us from danger, seen and unseen, some things that Glory, yes, Lord, should have took us out some things, but glory, it was the grace that held it back. My God, my God, I'm telling you. So here it is. This is where even when you when you think about it, it said here it is. The truth shall set us free. It's just like when you set down a glass of water or you set down a bottle or when you set something there. It's not about watch this setting it there and picking it up. But God, God wants us to be on a solid foundation. And here it is. It's the truth of the matter where is the word of God there. Here it is that sets you and I free. It said, whoever the son of man set free, what is free indeed. Free indeed mean that we're free to worship him. We're free to praise him. We're free to give God glory, not just on Sunday, on Wednesday, but all the time. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. So here it is. Even as you look at it, truth will not be hid. They tried to kill truth. They lied on truth. They talked about truth. But truth got up on the third day, which is Jesus Christ, with all power in his hand. And it was the grace of God that kept them. It was the grace of God that allowed him to go through what he went through for you and I. Amen? Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So here it is. <clears throat> you know, even when you think about it there, when you, when, when you think about it, and a lot of times, you know, we, from time to time, we not just sit back, but look back and thank God, um, you know, even some incident, accident, some things that, you know, um, other people experience um, along the way, but, you know, it's just God is a keeper. It's because of his grace and mercy. It's because of his love and kindness. And, and the thing about it is that here it is. Yes, we know about the pandemic, COVID and this and that. But how many, I'm telling you, this is where we got to continue to give God praise, continue to pray to God and allow the Holy Spirit to move in our life like never before. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. So here it is. Like I said, truth always exposed a lie. Truth will not, it will not be hidden. I'm telling you. I, and, 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 and this is where truth got up. And, and, and the truth of the matter is Jesus got up. He told, he told the Pharisees, Sadducees, you can kill this. But within three days, I'm going to get up. Three days, destroy this temple. They was thinking about the building. Oh, glory. Yes, Lord, I heard you. That's a revelation all by itself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, sometimes, a lot of us, we're still thinking about, and ain't nothing wrong with that, the church building. That is the church building. That come, that go, but what about this temple? Mm -hmm. This building, amen? That's why Jesus told him, said, here it is, you destroyed within three days, I'm going I'm going to build it back. Glory, hallelujah. And, he, and, and in three days, they didn't, they didn't, there was, here it is. See, here it is. They didn't know what he was talking about, but he was talking about, here it is, within three days, he's going to rise again with all power in his hand. Amen? Mm -hmm. 
all power, glory, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Turn with us um, to Hebrews 4 and 16. Can you read that for me, please? The book of Hebrews chapter 4, um, one verse of scripture, verse 16, and then we'll go to um, James chapter 4 and, and continue to let the Holy Spirit lead and guide us on tonight because um, without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. Amen. Hebrews 4 and 16. <clears throat> in the King James, it reads, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Wow, you need to read that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Wait, wait. It said... It, it said us, mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. It didn't say Christian. It, it didn't say non-belief. It said let us. Amen? Okay. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Wow. Whenever we need help and how many of you when we think about it in times like these we need not only help but we need the help of the watch this 911 which is the holy spirit amen the holy spirit help so here it is even when you think about that in time of need we can go to god it doesn't matter what time what time it is it doesn't matter what day it is. We can go to the throne and go to him. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen? So here it is. Whatever and whenever you are in need of healing, you are in need of deliverance, you are in need of healing, financial blessing, grace is always there to help that's what the scripture is saying. Grace is there. Well, you know, I I, I need this. I, 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 no, no, look, grace is right there to help pull us out the thick and thin, the things. Sometimes, here it is, we put ourselves in things, but grace right there to help pull us out. Glory, hallelujah. And pull us out in, in time of need. Come on now. When is when you need, in time of need. So... Um, that that's amazing that he did because it didn't end right there with just him saying, mm -hmm. Come boldly before the throne that you may obtain mercy and grace to help, but to help in time of need, mm -hmm. in a time of need. So, and when is that need? <laughs> wow, that need is um, now, yeah, now, always. I mean, when you think, and especially when. When we're thinking we're okay and we're thinking that we can get through, mm. but no, he's and you know we come boldly, not not out of shame, mm -hmm. um, not out of condemnation. You know, you come boldly mm -hmm. because a lot of times when a lot of times this pride will keep on, us now. from asking for help. Come on, or looking for help when you going to a person when you need help, but then. Um, Oh, they're afraid yeah. people gonna they're gonna talk about you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but when it's, he says for help, come come to my 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 throne boldly. When you're to obtain, to obtain to get that mercy and grace that God is willingly, He's ready to give. He's ready to give it. So when you and it's for you for help in time of need. Wow. And not just in your time, and it doesn't say in your time of need, but in time of need. In time of need. Wow. So the thing is, when is your time of need? Do you need it now? Mm -hmm. Glory. Hallelujah. Did you need it yesterday? Did you need it last month? But it's, he's right there to help us, to help us. A lot of time when you think, you, oh my God, all this was going on, Lord, I don't know how I gotta go to work. Is essential. I gotta. I gotta go, Lord. And our kids gotta go back to school. And and we saying this. We. Oh my God. We don't know how the kids, the teachers, and 
how they gonna oh my god this is this is grace jackie mm -hmm. this is grace grace is hopping he's hopping over us god has us and we're saying you know well the kids are gonna go back to school and you know the kids you know they're talking about as far as the kids might have to wait masks and you know little kids gonna touch one another little kids gonna be kids not enough the grown up is hard for us, you know, keeping that mask on. Hmm. But the thing about it is that here it is, not only just the kids, but the teachers that's teaching our kids, our grandkids, our, our fringe kids, and um, those kids, that kid, baby kids, and all those kids. Hmm. It's, it's like the kids of kids, but still yet God grace the teachers to teach. And that's what he does. Amen. Everybody can't do that. Amen. Amen. And, and and even when you think about it is that here it is, and I'm thankful and grateful for the Holy Spirit for that, when here it is, because our job as husband and wife, as men and women of God, sisters and brothers, um, even young kid, is to continue to pray to God. That's our job, is to continue to pray. Keep praying. Keep believing. Keep speaking the truth of the matter. Because truth always embraces grace. Grace has that so, truth, truth, truth. When truth, truth, thank you, Holy Spirit. Even when truth is present, grace is there to hold it up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Truth is present, but grace is there to embrace it and hold it up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My God. Mm. My Lord. So here it is. And we bless the Lord for his grace and his mercy as we, uh, when you think about that, um, like I said, even a financial blessing, whatever you stand in need of. And I know, and um, yes, it's not about, you know, when you think about, um, when you, you know, a lot of time we might be thinking, well, you know, um, not, I don't, I just don't want to say tax season, but vacation when are we going to take vacation? The summer's almost over. And, you know, just saying like 2020, when you think about it in reality, is like, wow, we never knew 2020 was going to be like this. Hmm. We never, nobody knew. And then, then they're thinking, oh, come on, 2021. We don't know. But I tell you what, I know who know. Hmm. God knows. Yeah. <laughs> God knows, amen. And, you know, it's interesting that you would bring that up, that, mm -hmm. you know, we never expected 2020 no, to be like this. Every you, We kept hearing 2020, the year of vision. My Lord. Um, yeah, and I mean, it's point, yeah, it's, it's clearly a year of vision. We need vision like never before. Yeah, did um, they see this? And, <laughs> you know, when I think about what God was speaking, that's why it's, it's very, so important that we have clarity, not mm -hmm. just, not just having a vision just to, just to have it, and you know, to, for for it to be a good slogan, mm -hmm. for it to sound good and go. to look good, mm -hmm. and to draw others. But if vision, if your vision, if the vision is not clear, if there's mm -hmm. no clarity to it, how far can it go? That's why I need these things right here to see. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, but I mean. The things that God spoke to me about the vision, how it needed yes. to have um, clarity, clarity, um, in, um, integrity, integrity. Well, I never imagined. stability yep. and, and depend dependability, dependability for kingdom empowerment ministries mm -hmm. in a national. And we thank God for that clarity, integrity, mm -hmm. dependability, and stability. Amen. And this is where here it is. We got this. Was it stability? Wait a minute. It was four. <laughs> Wait a minute. Clarity. Clarity. Depend. I think dependability. 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 Clarity. Um. What did I say? Stability. Stability. And integrity. Integrity. I have to look. Let me look it up. Integrity. Those are the four. I don't remember. Stability. Clarity. Yeah. I think dependability. Right. Integrity and stability. Those yeah, are the four. You're right. Those are the four, and we thank God for it. So even as you look at it, here it is. This is where we 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 lean on God's understanding. Amen. Mm -hmm. We lean not only on our understanding, 
like you say, it's not about a slogan that sound good, but we have to be in prayer, fasting, and hearing what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he, he's always speaking. And he's always speaking. What is God saying? No, he's saying, why would he say something different if we didn't take heed to what he has already said? Why would he say something different if we did not take heed to what he has already said? Why would he tell you something different if he has if we have not take action and do what he has already told us to do? In other in other words, thank you, Holy Spirit. Why would God give us or uh, any one of us another assignment and we have not dealt with the first one? My God. Mm. And just to clarify, this was this yes, was the order of it. This was the order of it that God had spoke um, to my heart. In this order, the vision has to consist of stability, integrity, dependability, and clarity. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, we don't, have, and we can clearly see from what's going on in this nation. Yes. That if that vision doesn't consist of, you know, because I kept asking myself, well, Lord, what, why was it so important for the vision to consist of these things? And even, like integrity. Mm -hmm. But if there's no integrity, no integrity. There's, there's no way your your vision can produce. It can't be it fruitful. Um, it can't. It can't go but so far. You, you can't. It's not, it's, well, I, God will probably allow me to speak on that some more because um, it's so important that, that that vision is filled with, first of all, with life, with his, with the life of God, with with his purpose. Mm -hmm. Amen. And his word and his direction. There you go. Amen. Because we clearly see without God being in in Wow. In the vision, even for this nation, if you're not operating out of that, mm -hmm. we can we're we're seeing what's happening. We're not going nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. Amen. Amen. That is so very true. Um <clears throat> last but not least, there's two other scriptures we want to cover tonight. Um you read Hebrews four and sixteen. Um yep. can you read James chapter four? Go with us to the book of James. Chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Then I want to close with Thessalonians. And this, both of these last two scriptures is going to bless you. Oh, my God. And I was like, you know, um, God is good. God is good all the time. And all the time, he's good. Amen. Mm -hmm. And this is Bible study. So we're going in deep and in depth into the word of God. Amen. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. All right. And again, in King James, it reads, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Mm. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Wow. Resist the devil. But before we resist the devil, we got to do what we got to submit. Mm -hmm. We got to submit to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Even when you think about it, staying humble inside, increase and expand our territory boundaries beyond the four walls of God. I'm going to say it again. Staying humble inside. I'm not talking about in the house, in the building. I'm talking about within ourself. Amen. Within ourself. You know, um, the Bible says, he who humbles himself will be exalted. Those who exalt themselves will be coming down. Amen. So staying humble inside increase our learning ability. <laughs> it increases the anointing on your life. That will grace comes in at also and, in, and in expand your territory beyond the four walls where you act. Mm. That's kingdom there. <laughs> mm -hmm. The church is in, but kingdom reaches beyond the full wall into the business place, into the marketplace, because here it is. The greatest impact that Jesus did was always when he went to different cities and different towns, walking, preaching the gospel, the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus. It was kingdom, amen. It was about kingdom business, amen. 
my Lord, my God. Mm. My Lord, anything else you want to say before we go on to this last scripture? Last scripture, I want to close with this and um, turn with me. I, I need to read this. I want to read this. Um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, look at verse 1. The uh, Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and look at verse 1. We're going to close on that there. We're going to close right there. Amen. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 beginning with verse number 1. Second Thessalonians verse 1 <clears throat> chapter 2 verse 1 amen it said now we beseech you brethren by the coming this is the apostle paul writing to the, the thessalonians amen he said now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our lord jesus christ and by our gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. And how many of you believe that? It is at hand. The day of Christ is at hand. And then he goes on to say in verse 3, he said, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed and the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all. Glory, hallelujah. I'm going to read verse 4 again. <laughs> it said, who opposes and exalts himself above all. We, we see that now people exalting themselves <laughs> above God. You can't, you can't be above God. <laughs> Who opposes and exalt, they exalt themselves mm -hmm. above all that is called God, that is called God, but they're not God. Or that is worship. So he, as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Verse 5, look at verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet Apostle Paul, he said, remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things. Verse 6, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be re revealed in his time. For the mystery, my God, this is what I wanted to get at. Mm, it's getting good now. Hold on, hold on, keep your seatbelt on, amen? <laughs> Don't go nowhere, this, this keep your seatbelt on, it's getting good. This is what I wanted to get at, amen? It said, for the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now let us will let until he be taken out of the way. Verse 8 said, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. God got, God, God got this, y'all. I'm telling you, God, he sees, he cares, he got this. Just keep praying, keep reading, keep believing, keep trusting. I'm telling you, keep hope alive. Continue to embrace in the tr embrace in His grace. Truth matters. Truth matters to God, and I'm telling you, <laughs> glory. Oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. I had to pause for a moment. Why you think God kicked the lie out of heaven? Who was the devil? <laughs> Truth matters to God. Amen. He had to go. He had to get out. Satan, you gotta go. Verse 8, it said, And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Verse 9 said, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Signs and lying wonders. Verse 10, it said, And with all deceivable of unrighteousness in them that perish, but they receive not the love of the truth. Many people, they don't want to hear the truth. 
that they might be saved because it's the truth that transforms. It's the truth that's going to bring light to your craziness, the things that we are going. Oh, glory, man, I'm telling you, this word, this, oh, my God. He said, I got to, let me, let me read verse 10 again. I, I get excited. He said, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, but they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. It's the truth that's going to save us. It's God. It's Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit. No one comes to God unless the Holy Spirit draws them. Verse 11 said, and for this cause, oh my God, stand up on this now. Glory, hallelujah. No, I'm just, <laughs> it said, and God said, you know what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. God said, and for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion. It's like they drunk, but they ain't drunk in the spirit and they ain't drunk in the word. They drunk in error. They drunk in a lie. They drunk in wickedness. They don't want to hear the truth. It said, and for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. I'm going to read it again. And for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not. And I'm not cursing. Damn mean is, is damn in the Bible. Amen. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Verse 13. But we are bound. <coughs> We are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of our Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation. My God, to live holy. That's what salvation is, to live holy and righteous before God. Salvation. And then here it is. Through what? Sanctification. Me and he doesn't set you aside. Sanctification of the spirit and believers of the truth, whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 15, therefore, brethren, he said, stand fast and hold the tradition which you have been taught. We've been, God, our parents, they taught us, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. Not only did good tradition, Bible-based Sunday school, they taught us the word of God. He's, he's, Paul is telling the Thessalonians, therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the tradition which you have been taught, whether by word or by epistle, mean epistle or by the letter. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, who had loved us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, there it is again. Good hope through grace. Comfort your heart and establish ye in every good word and word. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right there. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. Glory, hallelujah. I'm telling you that I'm, t my God. Mm. My God, go ahead. Something you want to say. No, I'm just mm. I'm just thinking about everything that has been said. I mean, I mean to cap it all off, to summarize everything. You know, wow. We've talked about a lot. Yes. There was a lot that was discussed, but um, you know, your subtop the subtopic, you know, about truth, truth matters. matters. Mm. And you know, first question I ask is, well, why does truth matter? Mm. <laughs> and for one thing, you know, when to be set free by the truth. My Lord. When you're set free by the truth of God's word, you're not you're not in bondage. Bondage, yes, yes. You're no longer in bondage. <laughs> you're free My to Lord. you're free to live because when you're in bondage, you're not free to live. Mm. You think you're living and it's not especially when we don't give our lives to God, there is no there's no freedom. My Lord. Um, you are a slave to the very thing that you're serving. Mm, say it again. Whatever it is that you're serving, More whatever it is you're putting before God, Come on. you are a slave to that. 
But when when God sets you free, I mean, there's 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 so much more, not only in this life but the life to come. So, um, when when you're walking in that truth, you know, your name can't be smeared. Come on. Um, mm. Amen, sister. You can't falsely be you, you. You can be falsely. Look, they can falsely accuse you. Yes. But it won't stick. Mm. My Lord. Not on truth. My God. A lie cannot attach itself to truth. My it Lord. may be. It may try to hold on there for a minute, mm -hmm. but it can't attach. My Lord. It can't stay. It can't stick. Mm. So. But just, I mean, and think about the opposite of that. Uh, the opposite of truth is a lie. Everything, look at all of the things that can attach to a lie that will only dig you, dip, bring you deeper or draw you closer to hell. Takes you closer to hell. Keeps you, mm, keeps you in Tell bondage. It. Keeps you with this, this, this heaviness upon come your on. life. Mm. But when you're walking in truth, oh my God! Every day, you're living you're living a life that draws you closer and closer to God, and brings you closer to the kingdom of God. Mm. Brings you closer to eternal life when you're walking in the truth. Mm. And truth matters because truth has life. My Lord, there's life my Lord. in truth, but without truth. There, um, you have a lie, which is death. Mm. The lies bring death. Amen. But truth brings so much light. Look, mm. it, it brings so much more. You have life, you have light, and you have communication. Yes. Um, with, with the all powerful, the mm. almighty creator. My Lord. Because he is truth. Yes. Mm. And, mm, so mm, that. Mm, mm, mm. My Lord. What, what, what mm. else do you say? Ah, glory. Woo, Jesus. I, I mean, felt that one. Truth. Ooh, in in truth, mm. there's this joy. Yes. Ooh. In truth, there's peace. Mm. My Lord. Mm. In truth, you have everlasting life. And, yes. And in truth, you know, you don't have to hide. My God. Come on now. You don't have to cover up. All right. You don't. <laughs> in, but in truth, you don't have to worry about, well, um, who did I say this to, or who did I say that to? Oh, you remember it. Yeah. How <laughs> to remember but the same truth, line? <laughs> yeah. In truth, mm. you know, you look. In truth, when you're speaking truth, because look, you can speak truth in love, and but yes. when you speak truth out of love, you're hurting people. You can yes. Hurt their feelings. Come on. But when you're speaking in truth, when you're dealing with truth, mm. you know. <sighs> wow. There's an abundance. There's this. Something com light comes out of you. Amen. That truth will draw others unto Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Woo. That truth mm. will draw you My to the God. Almighty God. Mm. Jesus. Mm. My Lord. Truth makes truth will allow someone to say, "Who is your God?" Ah, glory! Come Who on, now. there it is. <laughs> when you're walking in truth, when you're. Mm. Because see, the, the word is so true yes. that it cannot lie. My Lord. The word is so true. Mm. It lines up. Yes. Truth yes. Mm. lines up with God. My Lord. Mm. And when, you're, when your words line up with the almighty God, yes. you have all power. You have, all power. You have his all power with you. My Lord. So. Mm. You make a mismatch. Nah. <laughs> but when you have truth, Ooh, my God. When you have truth, mm, Jesus. How can you go wrong, my Lord? When you have truth, yeah, everybody's not gonna like the truth. No, no. Because but I'm not lie. responsible. I'm not responsible for those who don't want to hear the truth, my Lord. I'm not responsible for that. I'm responsible. I become responsible when I tell them a lie. Wow, and you know what? I'm only responsible for what I say, not what you hear. I'm only responsible for what I say, not what you hear. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Because mm. what you hear is being filtered through through, through, through what, you, what is in you, what my you Lord. put in you. Mm. What you hear is being filtered through your world, through your worldview, how you my view, Lord. how you see, how you hear is being filtered through all mm. of that. My God.
So but when you have the word of God in you, ah, glory. Ooh. When you hear is Jesus. being filtered. Thank you, Lord. Through through mm. the worldview, through through uh um, my Lord. Through his view, mm. I should say. My Lord. Because everything I hear, I'd rather everything that I Ooh. hear be filtered yes, through the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. We don't we don't we're gonna pause. We gotta park right there. Mm. You know? <laughs> that word is so powerful. Oh my God. Oh. And I, and when you said that through through the word of God, when I think about this thing called world vision where kids are in other places um, don't have food to eat, you know. And the thing about it is that here it is. And that's what the word is supposed to go out. The gospel is supposed to be reached and teach to other nations all over the world. But first it starts in the house. It starts with you and I. Amen. My God. We're going to start right there. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You want to um, just... Pray and um, close us out. We bless the Lord and we thank God for all of you all joining us on tonight. I'm telling you, um, see, you know what? I got to put my glasses back yeah. on. Let me let me say this. And what we talked about was truth, embrace, grace. Subtitle was truth matters. I'm telling you, I prayed this has been a blessing to each and every one of you all or some of you all that you can share it and be a blessing to other people. I'm telling you. It's the word of God that's going to keep us. The more we, not watch this, exalt God, glory, hallelujah, my God, mm. Mm -hmm. my God. We, we, we need partners. We need partners, partners that continue to carry the gospel out. Parasite, we don't need something to suck the life out of you. We don't need pirates, pirate spies on you. Oh, my God, I got to stop. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. mm. Those, I'm telling you, Jesus, uh, he needed partners. It's all about partnering with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. A pirate spies on you. A parasite sucks the life out of you. Come to get what they can get and go on to the next one. Mm. My God, mm. let me stop. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise on tonight. Um, we bless the Lord. Amen. Um, Max, first lady, just to close us out. Um, pray. Um, we thank God for each and every one of you. We pray that this has been a blessing to each and every one of you. We bless the Lord. We do not take not only, it's not about just this, but it's all about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. It's all about promoting the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's what we we exalt him. We exalt, we exalt his name. Amen. And, and 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 that's what John 12 and 32, it said, Jesus said, and if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. The more we lift up Jesus, amen? Yeah, we know the situation. We know all the stuff going on. But regardless, we got to still lift up the name of Jesus, amen? Mm -hmm. I, I don't care what's going on. It don't matter what it is, what storm or what. He, he said, peace be still. Everything that has a name got to bow down to the name. Oh my God! Let me stop. Go ahead, close us down. <laughs> you said that. You said that twice. Or how many times okay. did you say that? Right, stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Amen. 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 God is good. Mm. So. Heavenly Father, we just come before your throne. Thank you, Lord. We come boldly before your throne, God. Thank you, Lord. As believers, you have given us that right, that privilege to yes, be able Lord. to boldly come before your throne, God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. To obtain mercy and grace. Yes, God. thank you, Jesus. To help us in time of need. Time God. of need. So, Lord, we need you more than ever before, God. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank you so much for your grace, your mercy, God. Thank you for your goodness, your mm -hmm. kindness. Most of all, your love, God. Yes, God. It is your love, God. Thank you, Lord. Because of your love, God. Thank you, Lord. We can come to your throne. Because of your love, God. We can lift our hands and magnify you. Because of your love, God. Thank you, Lord. We have the right mm. or the, 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 the chance mm. at everlasting life, God. Thank because you, of your love. Because of Jesus Christ, God. Because mm. you, you sent your son for us, God. Thank you, Lord. 
saw him, that you saw that we were lost, God. Yes, we're lost without you, Lord. That we would be able to go nowhere without you, God. Mm. And Lord, you looked upon us, God. You knew that we would need a Savior, God. Yes. You knew that we need a Savior. And God, you you had a plan from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. From the beginning of time, you had a plan, God. And we thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. For including us in your plan, God. For never leaving us or forsaking us, God. For not forgetting about us, God. But you love us that much. You're, you're that mindful of us, God. Thank you, Jesus. That you would give us another chance, God. That you would allow us to have the opportunity to accept you as our personal Lord and Savior. To accept you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So we thank you, Lord. We can't begin to thank you enough for the sacrifice that was made for us, God. Because of your love. Because you loved us that much, God. Thank you. You sacrificed your one and only Son, only. God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, that we may have everlasting life, God. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, we choose to praise you every moment of the day, every God. Every moment. Every moment that we're able to, to open up our mouths, God, we will praise your name. We will exalt your name, God, in spite of what we're seeing, God. We know that you're still God. We know that you're still good. Mm. We know, God, that that, mm. that you are watching. You are very much aware of what is happening, God. Yes, Lord. But, Lord, you are doing a work that, that we can't begin to understand, God. But, Lord, we want to choose to trust you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Because you know what's best for <laughs> us, God. You know all about the situation. You know all about our cares, everything that's concerning us, God. You know everything that we go through, God. So, Lord, that's why we lift up those, God, that are mourning their mm. loved ones, God. We lift up those, God, that are struggling from day to day, God, financially, physically, God, My mentally, Lord. God, <clears throat> in every area of their lives, God. Wherever the struggle is, God, that we can't put a name to, God, that we may not be aware of, God, but we know that you are aware. So yes. this is why, God, we want to be so mindful that when you lay someone on our hearts, God, thank you, Lord. we want to lift them unto you, God. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> thank you, Lord. So, Lord, we, we just thank you, thank you for watching over your people, God, yes, for protecting Lord. your people, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, hmm. for all that you are doing for us, God. My Lord. <clears throat> How you're watching and caring for us, God. How you're providing for us day by day, God, every moment, God. And Lord, just we especially want to lift those up, God, that, that are struggling, Lord, with, with, with their children as they're going back, back to, school, to school, God. My Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, where their, their parents are having to make tough decisions, God. Psalm 91. But Lord, we you. thank you, Father, mm -hmm. that you, when, when they cry out to you, Lord, when they seek your face, God, thank you, Lord. you will make a way, God. <clears throat> thank you, Lord, for making ways. Yes. Yes. Lord. Out of no ways, God. Our glory. When our backs are up against the wall, God, and you are there making ways, God, making provisions, God. My Lord, my God. So we thank you, Lord, thank in you, the Holy mighty Spirit. name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For showing up at just the right hour, God. Oh, my Lord. Hmm. Thank you for the miracle signs and wonders, God, yes. that are showing, Lord. Thank you. So we just bless you. We honor you, God. And we thank you so much for who you are. We, mm -hmm. we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you for, for your peace, your yes. joy, your comfort that you Lord. give us, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for keeping those, God, that are struggling, especially mentally, God. Because, mm -hmm. Lord, even with co on top of COVID-19, God, with the struggles that, that people were having long before COVID-19 came about, God. Mm. So, Lord, we, we, we thank you for, for showing up, God, and making ways, God. We, we, Lord, the, the things that we're seeing that are going on in, 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 in politics and 
and with COVID-19, the things that are being politicized, God, we're seeing so much about that, God. But Lord, we just thank you for the news that 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 is out there, God, hmm. where we're showing that they're, they're showing where people are surviving, God, where they are making it, not just through COVID-19, God, but through all the miracle signs and wonders that thank have been Lord. taking place that we did <clears throat> not hear of, that we're not hearing of in the news, God. But we thank you right now, God, you, for the for the great news, for the good news that we're going to begin to hear, for salvation, God, yes. that is taking place, God. We thank you, God, for 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 showing us, God, for speaking of those things, letting media, letting the media begin to show and to 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 let us see, God, to air these things, God, about the goodness, God, that is taking place in this universe, yes, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Not only the bad, God, but but allowing us, God, to see the good that is taking place, God, because we know that is happening. Because you said in your word that everything that the enemy meant for bad, turn that you would turn it around for good, God. So we thank you for the good that we're seeing now, God. Thank in you. the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you, God, mm -hmm. for healing this nation, God. Thank you, healing your people, God. Healing the hearts and the minds of the people today, God. Yes. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You said, God, ah, that change is here and change is coming, God. Thank you. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, that it is now and here, yeah. and we celebrate those changes yes. right now yes. for the betterment you. of your people, God. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. We, we bless you. We honor you, and we thank you for the power mm. of your word. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, Give God. God some praise. Give you us some are praise. Good. You are Give us great, some praise. God. Hallelujah. Some Hallelujah. hand praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Glory to you. Glory to Thank his you, name. Jesus. Amen. Well, Amen. You, Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you for strengthening mm. your people, God. Mm. Mentally, emotionally, and physically. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I know it was the blood that mm. saved me, the blood that delivered me, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We yes. all have, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus, my God. Thank you. Glory, Lord. hallelujah. My God, mm. thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory, hallelujah. Mm. God bless you. Glory, hallelujah. Blessing, blessing. Oh my God, blessing. Mm. We speak blessing, blessing over everyone on tonight. Blessing, increase, spiritual blessing, financial mm. blessing, miracle. We are in the season of the ninth month of manifestation. Blessing, blessing, Jesus. glory, hallelujah. Healing, deliverance, oh. glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Ha, glory, hallelujah. Healing, Roma, glory, hallelujah. Blessing Thank in you. every household. Glory. Hallelujah. We speak blessing, mm. spiritual blessing, financial mm. blessing, healing blessing, mm. rolling over from your house to your neighbors, to your friend, to your family. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, Thank watch you. what God do in this ninth month. It's going to be some mind blowing. Glory. Hallelujah. Blessing from every area. My God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We receive it in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to say good night. Amen. <laughs> good night, and please, as always, remain safe. Yes. Um, you know, do practice practice safety during this time. Yes. We're, you know, I, I believe now it's not as long as it has been. No. But you know, we're still in the midst of this thing, so just please. Be safe and, and take care of yourselves, okay? Amen. Sunday, right. if the Lord should tarry his coming, see you Sunday at 10. Amen. All right. God bless you and we love you. Amen.